Hello, my name is Arabella Kalika from Class 3 BB of English Department, and today I will give a presentation about a journal article titled The Impact of COVID-19 to Indonesian Education and Its Relation to Philosophy Merdeka Pleasure from the first volume and the first issue of the journal study is a philosophy of science and education, authored by A. Abida, H. N. Hidayatullah, R. M. Simawara, D. F. Hawudar, and E. Muktinati. We will talk about the philosophy of Merdeka Bajar, physical distancing, social distancing, and self-quarantine, digital learning in Indonesia to face COVID-19, and the point of views of all sites in full. Okay, so we will get to introduction. The spread of the coronavirus thesis 2019 or COVID-19 leaves a profound effect in both the economic and education world. While the effect received by the former has started to dwindle down and our finances have improved exponentially, the impact remains immense academically. As students are strictly prohibited from engaging in prolonged physical contact to prevent the virus from escalating, hundreds of countries, including Indonesia, have started to impose alternative learning methods to carry out learning process. Currently, in Indonesia, many higher institutes of higher education start to implement online lectures. The Ministry of Education and Culture, or MOEC, in Indonesia encourages online learning as has reportedly made effort to keep students educated while maintaining their distance. Their efforts include developing a virtual based learning application and joining courses with multiple online learning platforms which will be later be elaborated. Okay next We'll talk about the philosophy of Merdeka Belajar. Merdeka Belajar means freedom of learning, intended to allow students to learn freely without feeling pressure as much as they want using flexible time and without coercion. We don't need to force them to master a field of study outside their abilities and natural talents. Why is this implemented? It's because burdening students and assigning them tasks beyond what they are actually capable of is considered an exploitation and a deplorable act. Indonesian Minister of Education and Culture Nadia Makarim established Merdeka Belajar, which includes four main initiatives. First, replace the National Standard School Examination or USMN which is used to determine the graduation of school students. Schools are now free to make their own examination. Secondly, re remove the national examination. National examination will be published in 2021, replaced by the minimum competency assessment and character survey. Three, simplify the lesson plan the lesson plan, or RPP, has so far contained 11 components covering subject identity, competency standards, and a few other materials. It's now simplified into one sheet only. Fourth, loosen zoning. Zoning regulations for new student acceptance is now loosened up. In university letter, MOEC implements Campus Merdeka, or Independent University. Campus Merdeka policy imposes four main points. First, opening new study programs. Second, higher education accreditation system. Third, ease for universities of becoming PT and BH. Fourth, study rights for three semesters outside their study programs. Okay, so about opening new study programs. This this initiative allows state and private universities to open new study programs under the condition that they have A or B accreditation and have collaborated with the world's top universities or organizations. As for higher education accreditation system, accreditation is automatically renewed for all grades 
and is voluntarily renewed for universities which are team adequate enough to advance in rank. And four is for universities to become PT and BH. The MOEC will simplify the requirements for PT and public agencies. See also PT and BLU and work unit or sub to become PT and legal entity or PT and BH. The MOEC will simplify the requirements regardless of accreditation of the university. And next, undergraduate students can take courses outside their study programs, bearing out the health study programs. Higher education must provide the right for students to volunteer, so students can take or not take credits outside the campus for two semesters or equal to 40 credits. Those are the initiatives taken to encourage independent learning. Students who learn pass on independence won't falter when faced with learning difficulties. In fact, I think they will overcome them. They will strive to overcome those difficulties. And these will keep her to influential and talented individuals who can accomplish anything wherever they go. Next, we will talk about social distancing and self-quarantine. We are expected to improve as individuals following the implementation of Merdeka Bajar and Campus Merdeka. However, looking at our current situation and looking at how our world is now stricken by the pandemic, we must apply some some health protocols like self-quarantine and social distancing. Okay, so first of all, what is social distancing? According to Maragaki, social distancing is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid spreading illness. Staying at least six feet away from other people lessens the chances to be contaminated by the virus. The examples of social distancing are namely closing schools, and choosing online classes as alternatives, working from home, contacting your loved ones through online meetings, and many others. Not only social distancing, we should also practice self-quarantine. People who have been exposed to the virus or detected with the risk of contracting it are advised to practice self-quarantine for 14 days. And so are the people who have traveled from another country. The period of 14 days offers enough time for them to know whether or not they will become ill and spread virus to other people. The examples of soap quarantine are not having visitors, staying at homes, washing hands frequently, and cleaning any utensils that we have used to prevent the risk of contamination. Okay, so next we will talk about digital learning system in Indonesia in the face of COVID-19. The Ministry of Education and Culture in Indonesia has has made many efforts to facilitate the digital learning in Indonesia. They have facilitated the virtual learning process by developing a distance learning portal-based application called Rumah Belajar, which can be freely accessed through a website. They also have joined with courses with seven or six online learning platforms, namely Smart Class, which supports the anticipatory steps of the um, uh, MOEC to minimize the spread of COVID-19 in Indonesia, Sekolahmu, which provides organized classrooms and collaborates with schools, Zenius, and Clipper, w- which share similar functions. These two online platforms help students to prepare for examinations like UN and UTBK, and then we have Google Indonesia and Microsoft, which pro- help in online meetings and many other facilities. Aside from implementing digital learning 
in their daily activities. The public is also advised to take important steps to counter the rapid spread of COVID-19. The following is a guide from experts about social distancing. The first one is to avoid large gatherings. You shouldn't gather in a place that contains more than 10 people. Second, don't go to health facilities unless needed. If we have a sick family member or a friend, friend limit visitors, especially if they are children or those who are, are risky with the change of getting contaminated. Third, stay at home if the people are high risk. Fourth, keep support to the infected. The those infected by the virus are more likely to develop a vulnerable mental state, and this can deeply affect their emotion. Then you should follow the official guidelines in the area and etc. Then we will talk about Merdeka Belajar, Digital Learning, COVID-19, and our point of view. Okay, so about this, Indonesia relates that the necessity to establish list an independent and free learning program amidst the pandemic. For education to continue, we should have an alternative which can support learning in this era where limitations are imposed to us. However, according to the opinion of several students, teachers, and even their parents and some faculty members, online learning still proves to be inconvenient despite the ease of online facilities. However, on the other hand, learning from home proves to create a great alternative for them. Here, qu quoting a parent, here, quoting a parent, they reported to to have the opportunity to create a personal library for their family. If there are no operational instructions for learning from home, creating familiarity by creating a family library is a productive choice. It can be in the living room, in an empty, unused room, so you basically can really create or repam a room that has been no longer used and decorate it to your liking. Also, this this has proven to be an independent learning method and it can also improve the literacy rate of the family. Okay, so conclusion. In general, COVID-19 has significant impact in the world of education. Our old learning system and learning routines emphasize the interaction between teachers and students, but it is now impossible to keep in touch directly or meet face to face, face with our teachers. So we resort to technological advancement. This shift to virtual learning is said to have its own advantages and disadvantages. Just, just, the author of this journal article mentioned that they hope for COVID-19 to, to be gone as quickly as possible for humanism to return. Okay, so I think that's all I can deliver. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I'm looking forward to your question. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.